Good morning, dear students. My name is Farhan Mazar, and today is 17th November 2021. And right now, I am with the ninth Cambridge class. And the subject we are studying is uh, D Maths uh, 4024. And today, we have set our hearts to solve exercise 1A. And today, in this session, we are going to solve the question number one of this exercise. The name of the chapter is graphs of linear inequality in two variables, uh, linear inequalities in two variables, actually. So in this question, number one, uh, the inequalities will be given and we have to draw uh, them on the graphs. So we have to draw the graphs of the linear inequalities, two variables. So, uh, and then we have to share them to show the unshaded area, which will be showing the required area. So that's the basic theme of the question number one. So let's start question number one. So let's go to the question. Let me show you first of all the question. Okay. So we are going to do the question number one and let me take this question. So this is that question and I'm going to take this question. So here we go. So we have this question, basically. So we have to draw this. You see, I have already drawn these graphs, but I will show you how these graphs are drawn. So first of all, I will prepare a graph paper. Here you can see I have prepared a graph paper. I will take this into the paint and I will show you the whole process. These are the two inequalities which I have to draw. And these two inequalities, x is greater than or equal to zero. And the second inequality, which I have to draw is y is greater than and equals to two uh, x. So let me show you how I have done this. So let me copy this graph from here and I will paste it in the paint. So here you go, you can see, I hope. First of all, what, uh, which I will, what I will do, I will draw the grid and let me show you. So I will draw this grid and see this grid. This grid is already there. I've already drawn this grid. So I will draw this grid. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Same way here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have drawn minus one, minus two, minus three. So that you will draw this grid. And the first inequality, which they ask you to draw is, is x is greater than or equals to, equals to zero. So what I will do, I will draw a line x equals to zero. x equals to zero is basically this line. So let me make it red. So you can understand. So I will draw this line. This is that line x equals to zero. Okay, because uh, it's a vertical line and the crocodile's mouth is towards X. So the required area is on the right side. This represents a vertical line. You can see this red line and the crocodile's mouth is towards X. So the required area is this right side. So whole of this area, which is not uh, desired, you will share it. So you can see that here we have shared it with the pencil. So all the whole area which is on the left side of this line is not required, so I have shared it. The next line is uh, this line, y equals to two x. So I will make it stable. For example, um, let me show you the table so you can understand. This is the table of this question. 
y equals to 2x. I made a table out of it for it, sorry. And I inserted 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the place of x. And then I calculated what is the value of the y. Then I will plot 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, and 4, 8. And then I will join them. So this is how you will do this. I will draw this graph. So on the paint, you can see this is the graph here. So what I will do, I will, I will, I have drawn this line. So I will draw this line. This is that second line Y because the inequality is y is greater than 2x. So you can see the crocodile's mouth is towards y. So the, uh, the area above this line is the required area. So hold the area which is below this line, I will shade it. So now you can see this white portion is left. So this is that area which is bounded by these ine two inequalities. So I hope that you have understood this question. Let me paste it in the in here. So now you can see, now you can see this question. Here, the X greater than and equal to zero, the crocodile's mouth is a vertical line. The crocodile's mouth is towards X. So the area right to the right side of this is the required area. So the area which is to the left, I shaded it. Then in this, uh, this is the line of this graph, y equals to 2x. The inequality is y is greater than or equals to 2x. So what I will do, I will draw this line. The crocodile's mouth is towards y. So the area above this line is the required area. So the area which is below this line, I will shade it. So this white area is the required area which is being satisfied with both these inequalities. So this is how you will do the question number one. Hopefully you understand. So let's go to the next question. So the next question is coming up on your screen. The next question is this question number two. It says show unshaded the region satisfied by the following inequalities. We are talking about the B part. So I will copy it from here. So this is the B part. Okay. So now I am. I will show you the B part. We I, I have that B part here. This is the B part, and so let me show you. So basically, there are uh, two inequalities: x is greater than two, and y is greater than or equals to x plus two. So uh, I have to draw these lines x equals to 2 and first of all i will draw obviously the grid and then i will draw this line x equals to 2 x equals to 2 line is a vertical line like here and then i will draw this line y equals to x plus 1 you can see i have made this stable and i have supposed some values of x 0 1 2 3 4 i substituted these values in this formula and from here i I came to know the values of y, and then I plotted these points here. You can see 0, 0,1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. Then I joined them with a line. So this will be the graph of this inequality, and this will be the graph of this. Here, one thing is very important. It's written x greater than 2. So this line should be dotted. I have not made it dotted. And when I will draw it in the, in the paint, you see, uh, my line will be not dotted, but remember this line is supposed to be dotted. This line y is equal to 2 and greater than x plus 1. This line will be a continuous line. So remember this difference. So now I will, uh, sorry, I will. I will go, I will, I, I will take this diagram. I will take this uh, B part and I will paste it in the paint. Okay, so here we go. So, okay. 
now i have brought it in the pain so to show you the first the procedure is very simple you know uh, i will first of all draw the grid so you can see here here is the grid and you can see i'm just showing you how this process is done the first thing you do you draw this grid and then uh, i will draw that line let me bring that inequality here okay so here is that inequality first of all i will i will draw this line i will draw this inequality this is basically uh, uh y x is greater than 2 so this is that inequality okay so you can see i have drawn this line x equals to 2 x equals to 2 is the line here is that line x equals to, it will be a vertical line and you know because the crocodile's mouth is it, and it should be dotted line i have drawn the continuous line but it should be a dotted line here uh, because the x uh, greater than 2 the crocodile's mouth is towards x so the area right on the right side of this line is required area because the crocodile's mouth is towards x so the area to the right side of this uh, vertical line is the required area so the area which is on the left side i will shade it you see i have shaded it okay now uh, we will draw uh, the other line the the other line is y equals to x plus 1 and you know i showed you that we have made a table y equals to x plus 1 and we made a table and we we have different coordinates we plotted them so i will plot it here also so this is that line so this is y greater than or equals to x plus 1 because the crocodile's mouth is towards y so the area above this line is the required area so the area below this line will be shaded because the crocodile's mouth is towards y so the area above this line is the required area so the area below this line i will shade it so you can see that i have shaded the area below this line so this white portion which is left that is the required area so this is the required area which is bounded by these two inequalities hopefully you understand so let's copy it from here this is the b part and you have to do it on your graph copy okay so this is the b part we will replace it okay so so we are done with the question number 1 and b part and let me show you how it looks okay so now you can see clearly that how this looks this is the question number 1 and it's b part so let's go to the next part so we have the c part and you can see this is exercise 1a from the d4 and let's do this so now we in the c part also again we have two inequalities and let me bring it down here okay so we have question number okay so this is question number c part and let me increase the size okay now the procedure is very simple what you will do you will prepare a graph paper i will draw these grids 1 2 3 4 5 6 -1 minus -2 minus -3 minus -4 minus -5 minus -6 uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 minus -1 minus -2 minus -3 minus -4 minus -5 minus like this okay so here we have a equation x plus y equals to 4 i will draw make it x plus y equals to 4 
and I will uh, suppose some values of x, for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I will get what are the values of the y. So I got the points here, 0, 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, 0, and I will plot them. So you can see it here, I have plotted them. For example, 0, 4 and uh, 1, 3, and then I joined them, and so I got this line. So, because here is, if you have, it says x plus y is less than four, it's, here we don't have inequality. This line should be dotted. Remember this thing. This line should be dotted. I have not drawn it dotted because I will be working on the paint. So, it, is, it will be a continuous line, but you should draw this line as a dotted line. The second equation, which uh, inequality, which is given y is greater than or equals to x minus one. So, y is greater than and equals to x minus one. So I will take some values of x. I will just suppose any values of x, put those values in this formula and find the values of y. So I suppose zero, one, two, three, four, I got the values minus one, zero, one, two, three. Then I plotted them here. So I, when I joined them with a straight line and I will prolong that line, so I got this line. So uh, let's let's take this, this diagram on the paint and sorry, C part and let's let's draw this. Okay. So we will bring it into the paint. Okay. Sorry. This is the C part. Okay. Now, the procedure is very simple. First of all, what I do, I draw the grid. Okay, so the grid is here. I draw the x-axis, then I draw the uh, y-axis. Okay. Then I, I, I calibrate it, one, two, three, four, five, six, minus one, minus two, minus three. One, two, three, four, five, six, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, like this. Then I take the, let me bring that thing here. This is that equation. So first of all, I will draw the line of this inequality. I have shown you that we have made the table. And this is that inequality. You know, this is that inequality. So I have drawn that line. So let me draw that line for you. When I plotted these points, I got this line. Okay. Now here we have x plus y less than four. This line should be dotted. Remember this because here we don't have equal sign. The crocodile's back is towards y. So when the crocodile's back is towards y, the area below this line the area below this line is the required area. So the area above this line, I will share it. The area, because the crocodile's back is towards y, that's why the area below this line is required. The area above this line, I will share it. Very simple. Then uh, I, I will draw the line of uh, the other inequality, this one. And you know, I made a table, so I plotted the points, then I got this line, so let me draw this line. So, so when I draw this line, so you can see its inequality, y is greater than or equals to x, plus, x minus one, because the crocodile's mouth is towards y, so the area above this line is the required area. So the area below this line, I will shade it. So this white area is the required area. Here the crocodile's mouth is towards y, so the area above the above this line is the required area. So the area below this line I shaded it. So now clearly you can see this white area is the required area, which is being satisfied with both these inequalities. So hopefully you understand. So let's copy it from here and paste it there. I'm doing this whole process so you can understand that how this thing is done. Okay, so this was the question number three. So let's paste it here. 
So this is question number three. So let's make the size larger so you can see the whole question. So hopefully you understand the question number one and it's C part. This is D1, sorry, D4 and it's exercise 1A. Question number one, C part. The graphs of linear inequalities in two variables. Hopefully you understand. So let's move to the next part. The next part will be the D part. So the D part is uh, this one. In the D part, you can see that we have uh, one, two, and three, three inequalities. So in the D part, here we go, the D part, let me copy it, paste it here. So we have the D part. In the D part, we have uh, three inequalities. Okay, this is X greater than zero. So the, first of all, you will draw a grid. You will prepare this graph paper, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus six, you prepare a paper. And then this line, x equals to zero, this will be x equals to zero, so that will be this line. It will be the y-axis, okay? And then this line, y equals to two. y equals to two will be a horizontal line, this line, y equals to two. Then this line y equals to six minus x. I will, y equals to six minus x. I will make it stable. I will suppose some values of x and I will substitute those values in that formula and uh, I will get what are the values of the y. And then I will, for example, I got zero, two, zero, six, one, five, two, four, three, three, four, two. So I will plot those points here. Then I join them with a straight line. So that will be the line for this. These two lines are supposed to be dotted. Remember that I'm not making here dotted lines, but you should know that uh, when you have only crocodile and that, that line should be dotted. This line should also be dotted and this line should be a continuous line because it has uh, less than an equals to sign. So that is a continuous line. So let me show you more how this is done. Okay, so let's copy it from here and take it into paint. So here we go. Okay, now we have bought it here. Okay. So let me copy that thing here also from here. Okay. First of all, I will draw the grid. The grid is uh, this, the y-axis and the x-axis. Okay, so I will draw the grid, okay. So, I will draw the grid, you can see that. Okay, once you have drawn the grid, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, minus one, minus two, minus three. Then I will draw this line, x equals to zero. x equals to zero is uh, this line. x equals to zero is this line. And when you have drawn this, then I will bring the inequality. Okay, so the inequality is, it's a vertical line and X is greater than zero. It should be dotted line. Remember that I'm making a continuous line, but it should be a dotted line. X is greater than zero. So the crocodile's mouth is towards X. So it means uh, in this vertical line, when the crocodile's mouth is towards X in the vertical lines, uh, the area to the right side of this line is the required area. The area to the right side of this line is the required area. So the area which is to the left of this, I will just shade it. I will shade it, shade it, shade it, shade it. Okay. Now, then I will take the second uh, inequality, which is y equals to 2. I will draw that line. Okay. So that line is this one. It's here. 
y equals to 2 this is that line its inequality is this okay so y is greater than 2 it's a horizontal line because the crocodile's mouth is towards the y so the area above this line is the required area so the area above this line is the required area so the area below this line this line below this line i will shade it so i will shade this whole area you can see that then we have the third line y is equal to 6 minus x and you know we made it stable and we plotted those points then i joined them so i got this line so let me draw that line so this is that line and its inequality is y is uh, the inequality is y is less than six minus x. So here you less than equals to and the uh, y is less than equals to six minus x. So uh, the crocodile's back is towards y. So the area below this line is the required area. So the area above this line I will share. So I will share this area. This area which is above this line, I will share it. So this portion which is white here, that is the required area which is being satisfied with, with, with all these three inequalities. I hope that you understand this. Let me bring it here. So that was uh, question number one and it's, uh, Part. So I hope that you understand this question. So let me show you this question. So now you can see the whole question and this white area, which is unshaded, that is the required area, which is being bonded by these three inequalities. And I hope that you have understood this question. It's a very, very important uh, concept. Uh, these two lines, this line should be dotted. This line should also be dotted. This line is continuous line. Remember that. So let's go to the E part. Let's see. So on your screen, you can see the E part here. Okay, so let's copy the E part and let's see what we can do. Okay. So here we go. So here we have the E part. Okay. Okay, so here we have the E part. So um, first of all, I will prepare the grid, you know, the grid. Okay, here is the grid and simple. Then x equals to zero, uh, that will be this line, it will be y-axis. Then 2x plus y is less than 10. Uh, you see 2x plus y equals to 10. I suppose some values of the x and from there I got some values of the y by the calculation. Here you can see that I made the table, the x values I have supposed myself, then I entered those x values into this equation. I got the values of the y. And I will plot those points here. You can see at 0, 10, at 1, it's 8, at 2, it's 6. Then I join them. So I got this line. That is for this line, this inequality. This line should be a dotted line. And this line should be a continuous line. Then we have this line. This is y equals to 1. And that will be this line, y equals to 1. So let me go on the graph on that uh, so let me copy from here and let's go to the paint. Okay, so here we go. So this is the E part. Okay, now first of all, I will prepare the grid. Okay, so the grid is here. So I will draw both the axes. This is that axis. 
So you see, I have drawn the grid. Then Okay, so first of all, I will draw this inequality. This means uh, uh, y equals, that was x equals to zero. So x equals to zero, x greater than zero means this line. Okay, so its inequality is like this. You can see it's a vertical line. Okay. It is a vertical line. And because the crocodile and it's x greater than zero, so it, will, it should be a dotted line, remember. I have drawn the continuous line, but you are supposed to draw the dotted line. Now, because its crocodile's mouth is towards x and it's a vertical line, so it has the, the area to the right side. Because the crocodile's mouth is towards x, so the area to the right side is the required area. So the area to the left, I will shade it. So you can see that I have shaded this whole area. The area to the left side of this line, I've shaded it because the crocodile's mouth is towards x. So the area to the right of this vertical line is required. So the area to the left of this vertical line, I've shared it. Then we have this line, this inequality. And you can see that we have drawn this line here. Here is that line. We have made it stable and uh, we have got we have plotted the points and so I draw this line. So this is that line. Now, I will, uh, because here the crocodile's back is towards Y, so the area below this line is the required area. So area above this line, I will shade. Because the crocodile's back is towards Y, that's why the area below this line is required. So the area above this line, I will shade it with the pencil. Okay, now we have that third inequality that is y equals to one. Y equals to one is this. Okay, uh, for, let me show you by drawing that line. So this is that line, the third line. So, I have drawn this line y equals to and greater than uh, one because the crocodile's mouth is towards y. So the area above this line is the required area. So the area below this line, I will shade. With the help of the pencil, you can see we have shaded it. So now you can see this is that white area with this is unshaded area, which is being satisfied by all these three inequalities. So very easy, straightforward question. If you understand the concept of shading, which I'm trying to explain to you. Okay, so that was the E part. Let me increase the size. Let me show you. So there were three inequalities, this, this inequality, X is greater than zero because it's a vertical line. Crocodile's mouth is towards X. So the area to the right of this vertical line is required. So the area to the left, I have shaded it. It should be a dotted line because here we don't have inequality sign. Then this inequality, I have drawn that graph. Here we have equals to and less than. So area, crocodile's back is towards Y. So the area below this line is required. So I shaded all the area above this line. Then the third line is x equals to zero. Basically, this is x greater than and equals to uh, one. So I will draw this line y equals to one uh, because the crocodile's mouth is towards y. So, and it's equals to also. So this will be a continuous line. And uh, because the crocodile's mouth is towards y, so the if area above this line is the required area, the area below this line, we will shade it. We will shade it, the area below this line. You see this, we shade it. 
and what will happen this is the white area the unshaded area this is the required area which is being bounded by these three inequalities i hope that you understand the how we are doing this so now we move to the next part the next part is uh, f part and you know the it has three inequalities okay this is the f part it has three inequalities and the methodology is again the same what we will do we will draw a grid you can see the grid here then this is y equals to x plus 3 so y equals to x plus 3 i will draw its uh, i will draw a table i will suppose some values of x for example 0 1 2 3 4 4 and i will put these values into that equation and i will find the value of the y so 0 3 0 1 4 2 5 3 6 4 7 so i will plot these points at 0 3 at 1 4 at 2 you have 5 at 3 you have 6 then i will join these dots and that will be a straight line this is y equals to 5 this is basically y less than or equals to 5 so y equal sorry sorry i said y this is x less than or equals to 5 so x equals to 5 is this vertical line so i will draw that line this line should be a dotted line remember this first line this line is y greater than or equals to minus 1 it should be it's like y equals to minus 1 so it will be a horizontal line so you can see i you can see i have drawn this line so let me show you how actually this is done so let's copy from here paste it in the paint and i can show you a few tricks okay so here we go okay now uh now now uh, first of all you draw the grid the grid line is here that is the y axis then i will draw the x axis this is the x axis you can see i have drawn the grid you can see that i have drawn the grid then i will i will bring that question first of all here so we will draw this line okay so you know that this is that line so let me show you how we made it stable and we plotted those points and so now you got this line in this line you can see x is less than x plus 3 this line should be a dotted line i have drawn a continuous line but you should draw a dotted line and because the crocodile's back is towards the positive y so the area below this line is the required area so the area above this line i will shade it area above this line i will shade because that is not required the area because the crocodile's back is towards the y so the required area is below this line and the question we are doing here the the area which is required that is left unshaded so undesired the area is shaded okay then uh, the second line is sorry okay the second line is y x equals to 5 so x equals to 5 is this vertical line okay so i will draw that line this is that line basically okay um x equals to 5 because we have here x less than or equals to 5 it should be a continuous line it's a vertical line 
because this is a vertical line and the crocodile's back is towards x so the area to the left of this line is required area so the area to the right of this vertical line i will share it i will share it you can see that it's been shaded then we have the third line that is y equals to uh, y equals to minus one. Basically, it is yeah. y equals to one. It will be this line. This is that line basically, y equals to minus one, okay? So this is that line, y equals to minus one. The inequality is y is greater than or equals to minus one. It should be a continuous line. And because the crocodile's mouth is towards y, so the area above this line, area above this line is the, uh, you know, the required area. So the area below this line, I will share it. Area below this line, I will shade it. So you see, this is that white area between these three inequality graphs with, that is satisfying all these three inequalities. So the area, you can see, let me take it to that side. So save it. So here we go. So uh, here you can see that uh, we made the graph, then these are the three inequalities and we plotted their graphs. This will be a continuous line. This will be also a continuous line, but this should be a dotted line. Here the crocodile's back is towards Y. So it means that the area below this line is required area. So above this line, I shaded that area. This vertical line crocodile's back is towards X. So the area to the left of this line is the required area. So the area to the right side of this vertical line, I shaded that line. That shaded, I shaded that area. Then this is a horizontal line at Y greater than or equals to minus one. The crocodile's mouth is towards Y. So the area above this line is required area. So the area below this line, I shaded it. So now you got this white area between unshaded area between these three inequality graphs. So that is satisfying all these three inequalities. So my dear students, uh, we are done with the question number one of the exercise 1A from the D3. The book we are studying is New Syllabus Mathematics, seventh edition. So in this question number one, uh, in this session, we will only do the question number one. The question number two and the question number three I have done in another video and that has already been uploaded in my YouTube channel and you can watch that video. And I have tried my best to show you that how this is done. Uh, and let me show you uh, if you want to know the concept, I can, I can make another video on this shading concept, but I hope from these questions, you will be able to understand. So uh, we will continue doing this exercise, but for uh, today, this is enough. Um, today we have done question number one of exercise 1A from D4. I hope that you will find this video helpful and this will help you to improve the concepts of the graphs of linear inequalities into variables. If you find this video helpful and beneficial for you, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like uh, my video. Also share the link of this video into your Facebook accounts and into your Instagram accounts. So that will help me to, uh, to, uh, to improve uh, my channel, to public my channel. And that will be very beneficial for me. I will be very grateful for that. It's a pleasure teaching you all. Thank you very much. Have a good day. And God bless.